Hello there, my name is Valerie White Williams and I'm a voice teacher and vocal coach with Vocal Splendor Studios. I teach online voice and piano lessons all over the world using Zoom, FaceTime, and Skype. If you are interested in getting some lessons, please go to my website at vocalsplendor.com. But for today, I am going to do another reaction video. This time I'm listening to Epica perform Sancta Terra featuring Floor Jansen and of course the singer Simone Simon. Let's have a listen. <laughs> I'm like so captivated by these guys. Why isn't this music popular in America? This is so fun. Everybody's having such a blast. It's crazy. So I love the energy between these two women. Oh my gosh, Amazons, gorgeous voices. And I can hear that Floor has just a bit more heft in her sound and that dress, wow. I would love to be wearing leather clothes and sweeping around so Beautiful sound and this huge orchestra and the fans, gorgeous. Let's keep going. She has such an etheric voice. That's what's so cool about these two ladies together. Because Simon, I hope I'm saying her name right, has this more angelic sound, which is very pure. And Floor has a gorgeous voice, but there's more heft in it.
gorgeous. Aww. Great singers. Funky Mel Fleur, you kick ass! Thank you and you two give it up for Abigail! Yep. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. I loved it. Yeah, I was missing out all these years. Who knew? I would love some phonic metal. I had no idea. And you know, the thing about metal is I think some people think it has this dark, it's bleh, so creepy or whatever. But I just think it's fun. And I think that's what everybody's having fun up there. I have to say, the band is amazing. Everybody is a great musician. The drummer, the keyboard player, all the instrumentalists were fabulous. And having that full orchestra, yeah, they couldn't headbang. You know, it's hard. To, and notice the singers weren't headbanging when they were singing, because you really can't pull that off. And I think they must have really practiced how to do it, because I think you need to keep everything really loose or it could be damaged. So it's kind of like yoga or something. I, I haven't tried it, but I should because I've got all the hair to do it. So, but let's talk about the singers. I mean, the choir was outstanding. I loved just all the effects. It was just, would have been awesome to be there. But I love the chemistry between the two women. They were having so much fun. And Simone has this gorgeous voice. It's a little bit of a lighter instrument. So it has a bit of more, um, floatier quality, I would say, where Floor is like whoosh, she's got that <clears throat> Amazon sound. Accordingly, what they say, she's 6'1", so she's not a small woman, and I love the outfits that she wears because she can move around the stage, but she has that kind of warrior goddess, um, Viking presence that's great. Now her voice is super powerful and thick, and I loved how they interacted on the stage. They obviously are really close. They're good friends. I think one of my posters had mentioned that Simone was a student of Floor. I don't know if that's the case, but you could tell they had a real strong chemistry and they really loved performing together. Great singers. And I loved how they went into kind of quasi operatic vocals. And this wasn't a super belty, song so it definitely had more of a head voice dominant quality but it definitely went into some more operatic sounds and more I would say quasi classical singing still it was so fabulous everybody was great and yeah I do wish this music was more popular in the United States just saying I don't have to go to Europe to get to see it but thanks to YouTube we can hear music from all over the world and I love it all right, thanks for the likes, shares, and subscribes. What other Floor Simone Epica pieces should I listen to next? I would love to listen to more, and you know I love it, so give it to me in the comments below. All right, thanks, and have a great day. Bye.